Qualcomm is known for their chips that power smartphones. Now they're taking on the car with an autonomous driving system, and we are going to try it out. Ready for a ride? All right. Cool. We are inside a Lincoln that has been specially outfitted with all of their technology on the real streets of Las Vegas. And this car is going to drive by itself. So I think we're going to switch into autonomous mode. Uh, Engaging autonomous mode. All right, you just heard it. And so now we are merging onto a freeway fully Merge autonomously. Uh, you hear the car calling out its uh, instructions and directions. And you hear the to left to continue on route. You hear the engine left roaring. Safe. And the driver, if you notice, is not really having to do anything except just monitoring what's going change on. Left to continue on route. And so now the car left is going to change safe. to the left lane by itself. And again, we're going about 60 miles an hour here, fully autonomous. So if you look here in the center console, you see this little, uh, that is the emergency stop button, which cuts off all software to the car in case there was an issue. And so far, so good. You also see up here, you've got a little indicator light. So right now it's green. If that changed to red, that would indicate that there's an issue and we would have to take over. Uh, but this car is outfitted with all kinds of technology, including uh, the software I talked about, but it's got uh, uh, eight cameras on it. To continue on route. Hear more of the directions there. It's got six right different radar sensor sensors yeah. and also really um, good GPS. And we've got an engineer in the back seat here. Say hi. Hi. Just making sure everything's going okay. Yes. The main thing that they're trying to do is make this car act like a real human would act in a car. So not overly aggressive, but doing the motions that it needs to do to actually keep up with other traffic. Because the last thing you want is an autonomous car that's kind of like going too slow or doing things that are just not safe compared to other cars. So you can see we've slowed down now and we're maneuvering this exit ramp all by itself. So take a look at the steering wheel. Uh, this thing is going by itself. And we, can we show this screen? Okay. Yeah, okay. So you can see in this screen, it's monitoring everything that's happening in front of us. So all these little cars have uh, little boxes around them. And you can see we're going around this ramp at about 30 miles an hour, just like a, humid, a human would take the ramp. As a passenger in this car, uh, I don't feel unsafe, even though we are in a very high-powered machine that is um, doing its own thing, thinking on its own. You've got a lot of data. Upcoming merge to the left. And it's really interesting how the car is sort of calling out what it's doing so that you understand. Now, a real car probably would not do that in the future, but this is a merge demo. Complete. So it's nice to understand what the car is thinking, and it just said merge Upcoming complete. Upcoming merge to the right. And again, these are real streets, these are real cars around us, and this car is reacting. And it's kind of fun. I mean, it's, it's really a little Merge peek complete. into the future of what a car is gonna be able to do in the next couple of years. And uh, I'm impressed. And if you have some of these features in your car, you know, like the automatic cruise control, your car is probably really good at just kind of keeping a distance from the car in front of you, but it's very simple. That's very basic. This is much more high tech. This is doing a lot more assessment of the world around it. So we're in this interesting situation now where all the traffic has slowed down and we are going to kind of, I mean, we're in with a whole bunch of cars that are in different positions and uh, in different, you know, like this car is kind of over to the side. This car's right in front of us. This car's still merging. And you can see we've got a lot going on. And this computer is analyzing everything that's happening around us and really keeping track of that and reacting in a way that is safe and also efficient. This is not normally here. Look at, we've got an accident here that is coned off. And so the car is smart enough to not go in between those cones or to try to get into that lane. And <laughs> that car is not autonomous, see? This is what happens when you have human drivers. And now we're exiting and the car's kind of feeling its way. It kind of understands that things are picking up here. And now we can finally exit Frank Sinatra Drive. You see how this really frees up the driver. I mean, you still have to be alert, especially with the first generation of self-driving cars, because you know we're the software driver is still. Takeover requested. And so now the driver's taking over, and 
we're back to humans controlling the car. Uh, we're expecting to see this on the roads around 2023. So you've got a little bit of time before this sort of really high-tech autonomous driving hits the real streets.